In this video, we'll create a routine using daily routine for iPhone. To create a new routine, go to the routines list and then tap the plus button. I'm going to call this routine Dev Day. Normally I'd change the icon and color, but that can be done anytime. So let's tap the time slots button to begin the real work of creating our new routine. Routines start with a single 24 hour gap time slot. Tap the add time slot button to create a new time slot in this gap. The new time slot has been assigned a random activity. I'll change that activity by tapping the activity button and then picking a different activity. New time slots are 30 minutes long by default, but we can change this time slot's duration by tapping the time button. These two wheels control the time slot's start and end time, and together they control the time slot's duration. I'm going to set the time slot to be from midnight to 8am and then tap the done button. Notice the time slot time button's text has changed but the time slot itself is only changed when I tap out of the time slot. Routines in daily routine don't start or end, only the time slots within them. For example, our routine appears to start at midnight, but if I set the sleep time slot's start time to be 11pm, i.e. before midnight, and tap the done button, we can see that it now appears to be two instances of the time slot. These represent the parts of the time slot that occur before and after midnight. They're actually the same time slot, just represented twice to fit our typical notion of a day. Making a time slot start earlier or finish later simply shrinks the time slots immediately before or after it. But making a time slot start later presents us with a choice. This little lock icon allows us to modify the default behavior. The default behavior is for the previous time slot to end later as well. If we tap the lock button, it inserts a gap between this time slot and the previous time slot. When we apply the change, we can see that a gap has been inserted. Of course, we can fill this gap by pressing the Add Time Slot button. When we try to delete a time slot, we're faced with another decision. Here, Daily Routine is asking us what should happen to the time currently occupied by the time slot we're about to delete. The simplest option is the last one, insert a gap. Here, we can see that our deleted time slot has simply been replaced by a gap. Now, I'll fill this gap to demonstrate what the other options do. The expand previous option will make the previous time slot end where the deleted one currently ends, effectively merging the two time slots. The next option is similar, but merges the deleted time slot with the next time slot instead. The expand both option will split the deleted time slot's time evenly between the previous and next time slot. Just as we can merge two time slots into one, we can split one time slot into two using the split button. By default, the split will be in the middle of the time slot, but we can change this by dragging the slider. While we're filling up our routine, we might realize that we need a new activity. To do so, just tap the Add or Edit Activity button inside the Activity Picker. Here, we can edit existing activities or create new ones. Tap the plus button to create a new activity. We'll give the new activity a name and an icon. Returning to the list, we pick our new activity, and there we have it. Time slots have their activities titled by default, but sometimes we want to be a little bit more descriptive. In that case, we just type in a new name for this time slot. Now that we've created our routine, we don't need this example routine anymore, so we can delete it. But now that we've deleted the example routine, our main screen looks kind of empty. We need to tell Daily Routine that it should schedule our new routine. To do that, we tap the Dates button. Then we create a schedule by pressing the plus button. By default, all new routines are set for tomorrow. We want to schedule our new routine for certain days of the week, so we'll change the schedule by tapping the Dates button. Our schedule has no expiration, so we tell Daily Routine that by tapping the Forever button. We can specify the days of the week that our routine applies to by tapping these buttons here. In this case, I'll say every day except Saturday. When we tap done, we can see that our new routine is applied to the days we requested. When we return to the main screen, we can see that our routine is underway. Of course, this routine isn't complete. Not a problem. Routines can be edited at any time, even if they're currently scheduled. 